Good morning beautiful souls. Welcome or welcome back if you are already. Today we are going on a solo date in nature. If I should tell you how excited I am for today, it's beyond words. This is your sign to take yourself out. And this outfit just matches the event. This is the outfit of today. <laughs> Let's go. What is one thing your younger self wanted to do? One of the things that my younger self wanted to do is this. Today I had a rush of thoughts from my past and the things that I have always have a wishful thoughts for. And I realized I am living my childhood dreams. And that made me feel so grateful and even eager to come here and spend time by myself. We see what we want our future to look like but never stop to think that the present was once a du'a or a long wishful thought. Gratitude is a big part of Islam. So stop and think, what is one thing you have always wanted as a child that you have at the moment and say Alhamdulillah for it? I was once a girl who wanted to wear a cute dress and have a picnic by myself and just listen to the sound of nature while feeling like the main character. And here we are, fulfilling that little girl's wish. When we become adults, we focus on so many other things in life that we forget about our younger self and completely lose ourselves to the pursuit of the next phase of life. Pay attention to the emotional and psychological needs of your inner child. This might involve allowing yourself to express emotions freely or seeking out new experiences that your younger self would have cherished. Nurturing the wants of your younger self, integrating your past aspiration with your current reality leads to the most satisfying life. It helps you stay true to your core self, brings happiness and even inspire you to achieve the goals that you might have forgotten or dismissed. To say the least, I feel so peaceful and overjoyed being here and I am truly grateful for doing the things I enjoy. Last night, I just couldn't sleep properly for some reason. My brain didn't turn off and I was just getting up every now and then at night. And it was very, very frustrating. And this morning I woke up with a massive headache, which I really, really don't like. But coming here feels so refreshing. And being in this beautiful scenery just make me think more of Jannah and how Allah has placed so much beauty in this world. Alhamdulillah. For the gift of life. One thing about me is that I've always wanted to be a movie character. But the fact that I'm not a movie character and I'm still documenting my life like this, it just makes me happy. Alhamdulillah for everything. There is something that we should be grateful for every single time.
back home and what I'm trying to film now is something that I filmed when I was outside but the wind was the main character so here we are filming it again. Water break. Being grateful is the key to unlocking happiness. When I was having breakfast this morning, the thoughts that came to my head was if I was told six years back that I would be living the life that I'm living at the moment, I wouldn't be able to imagine it in my wildest dream. And that made me reflect on so many things. My past, the things that I have been through, and also the life that I was living back then. It felt so real that things have drastically changed the way I think, the way I do things, and also the way I see the world as well. One thing about humans is we're always in a rush. You might be thinking my experience today is not really an achievement, so why are you so happy about it, Neymar? But happiness does not come from having the material things in this world, but the experiences, the fulfillment, and the contentment you feel in your present life. It is just the ordinary and the mundane days that you live in this world and choose to make it beautiful. It is seeing the blessing that Allah has woke you up for another day for you to worship Him and also see the beauty of this world. Happiness is never in the next phase of life, but rather in the present moment. So make your days wonderful. Stop focusing on the things that you lack and dive into the present moment and see the blessings that Allah has already placed in your life. Make happiness an everyday experience, from the home that Allah has given to you, to the food that you have, and the water that you drink, and the fact that you're walking freely on this earth. And most importantly, the life that Allah has given you is a proof that you're worthy of happiness. If you keep thinking about what you lack, you will only see what you lack. And you will always think everyone has more than you. But we are all in this world going through life trying to live. The life that Allah has given you is better for you than the life of another person. Train your mind to see the goodness in every situation, whether you see it as good or bad. And believe me, you will be fulfilled. I hope this helped you in some ways. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and also liking this video. And also tell me one experience that you would love to have inshallah in the near future. And thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, I will talk to you soon. Asalaamu As Alaikum.